In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your layout for the layout design document. Your document is going to be set up for 11.375 inches by 11.375 inches, just like the sheet of plywood you'll get. And we're going to color the background, and then we're going to add our walnut pieces up on top here. So we're going to start by creating a new document. Your width and height will both be set to 11.375, the same as our piece of plywood. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. And at this point, I'm going to save that. So I'm going to make sure that this goes into, for you, this should be going into your OneDrive folder. I've got this on my desktop right now. So we're going to add a grid space to this, and then we're going to color the background. So I'm going to go into my options here. That's also under tools. And in options, first thing I'm going to do is go to background. I'm going to select a solid color background and pick a color that's close to like a birch plywood, just a nice light tan color there. Um, then we're going to go over to your grid. And we're going to set this to inches apart, and we're going to put this in as 0.875. That is the size of the squares that you'll be cutting out of the walnut. So 0.875 for horizontal and vertical. You're going to snap the grid and show the grid. The last thing you're going to do is go to your rulers. And right now, if you look at the left-hand side of my workspace, the top of my document is at 11.375. We want to make the bottom. Um, 11.375. So I'm going to type that value in right here and then I'm going to hit OK. So now I have that nice light background and I have my grid space on here. Next step is to set, start drawing some rectangles. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool here and I'm going to pick a brown color like you would see with your walnut. So you can kind of move up or down here and pick a color. Now this is going to ask you do you want to set it as a default? Uh, so I'm going to hit OK, and I'm also going to change the line weight uh, over to two points so it shows up a little heavier, and I'll hit OK as well. And now I can start to draw in each piece of that woman as I go around. Now I'm snapping to the grid right now, and I only have a uh, document grid on. You want to make sure you have these other ones turned off so it's very easy to snap to everything. Now, as I, if I want to change the size of this, I'll go to the picker tool there, and if I select this, if I grab this point here and I drag this up, I don't get anything to snap to, but if I kind of go over to the left or right and grab one of those grid spaces, I can increase the size on that uh, so that that works out nice for me. So you will basically go around until you have your layout finished, so something similar to this based off of your final sketch. Uh, if you need to delete anything, all you do is select it, hit the delete key uh, for that to go away. When you're finished, you're going to add your name to the bottom. So down here, just put in your name. Now I'll highlight that and make that a little bit larger. And we'll put that in the center. And when you have everything matching your layout, you're going to go to File, Print. This is larger than the 8.5 by 11 paper, so you're going to have to go over to Layout here. And by default, it's uh, as in Document. You're going to go to Fit to Page, and that should go out to the margins, and your name should be at the bottom right there. You're going to select uh, the Tech Ed Drafting. That's the color printer in Open Room 132. And then you'll just hit Print. 